So you've done tons of interviews. What do you want to talk about? What, how, what doesn't anybody ever ask you that you're dying to, to tell the world? Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm used to all the usual questions. Yeah. You know? well, what, mean, what's, the, what's the most unusual question you've ever been asked? Um, I don't even know, man. I mean, I, I just, I get, I get tired of all the same questions. Right. Oh, where are you from? Oh, right. where'd you get your name? Why do you like pink? It's all just like, dude, come on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, usually, sometimes I like to qualify my agreement to do an interview. Like, yes, I'll do it if the questions are good. Right. Sure. <laughs> I mean, <'cause laughs> not like putting me on the spot like, there. <laughs> I've done I've done so many interviews, and it's just like, like people can find answers to these questions ten times over. Like, right, right. Really? Yeah. I know. <laughs> so let's talk about music. Let's talk about music okay, and movies. Let's talk about music. So obviously you're into metal. Yeah. Which. You know, it seems obvious to most people, but it, but I, I guess you probably get a lot of people that like that throws them for a loop. Well, visually, my paintings probably you know pro people probably think oh I'm listening to like Japanese pop or like right. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but if you look know. a little bit under the surface, you see all the the metal elements I there. I hope so. Yeah. You know, I mean, for me, metal. I mean, what inspires me about metal is that you know it's this like um, well, first it's empowering. You know, right? Uh, and it's this like intense thing, and and I like that it, it exists whether you like it or not, or whether you know sure. about it or not. Sure. It's just full speed ahead, doesn't ask for for permission or make apologies. Right. And you know, you, there's something to be said for that. What was the first metal show you ever went to? Well, I saw. I mean, uh, saw Metallica in eighth grade. You know, that was cool. That was awesome. What era would, would that have been? That that was the black album. That okay. was uh, that I got you beat thing. on that one. <laughs> yeah. I saw them I saw them in between Ride the Lightning yeah. and Master of Puppets with Cliff. Yeah. Opening for Venom in nice. Germany at a wow. metal metal uh metal hammer festival. Wow. Yeah. Well see that's the thing. I grew up in Hawaii and you know, there wasn't a lot that I could see right. in Hawaii. I mean, my first show was Bon Jovi in, in the fourth grade. Nice. And then I had to wait four years before seeing another wow. you know, crazy show. So Crazy. Yeah. But, uh, but now, you know, living in L.A., now I get to see all sorts of crazy shows. Yeah? Yeah. Had, have you ever tried to do any, like, collaborations with bands that you're into? Had, had... Um, you know, I'd like to. You know, but still, I, I, I still think there's, like, such a disconnect that, you know. Right. And, and for me, it's like, okay, well, there's always this issue of what's appropriate and what's predictable. Right. Like, you go to a metal show, you see black T-shirts with white graphics on them. Right. Is it predictable or is that appropriate? Right. And so, for me, it's just predictable. Like, sure. that a, a T-shirt for a metal band doesn't have to be black. Like, are you kidding me? Like... At some point, you're just like, this is kind of ridiculous. Like, you know, when you see, like, when you see, like, brochures or something, and it says, like, stop such and such, and it's like the O is the uh, octagonal shape, like a right. stop sign. You're like, okay. like uh, We get it. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> One of my favorite pieces of yours is actually the, the collabo that you did with, with – uh, for the Faith No More poster. Oh, nice. That's yeah. like, I love, I love yeah. that a lot, yeah. Yeah, that's this guy, Brian Ewing. Yeah, yeah, I love his know, stuff. Big yeah. poster designer. Yeah, definitely. And, um, you know, I, I, I know Brian, and I, I just, I, uh, I was talking to him one day, and I was like, yeah, you know, I think it'd be cool to do some rock posters. And he's like, oh, dude, like, uh, I, I have to do this poster. Do you want to do it with me? And I was like, yeah, what is it? He's like, Faith No More. I was like, oh, that's cool. So yeah, we did it. You know, yeah. like I don't know, it was fun. I'm, and um, I like your know. your styles are completely separate, but together they yeah. like actually, you know, they work very well together. Well, we worked on a couple of things back and forth. First, uh -huh. he sent me a different skull. Right. So I was kind of doing some other stuff with it. Right. And he's like, no, 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 no. here's a better skull. I was like, <laughs> okay, all right. Well, how about this? Yeah. You know. And, uh, yeah, it worked out well, man. Yeah, I, I got like one of those at Comic-Con. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice, right on. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so me movies. Yeah. Let's talk about movies. What what kind of stuff, do, do any, like, elements outside of 
music creep into your art that you're aware of? You know, not really. I mean, I know other painters like listen to movies when they paint and all this sort of stuff. Right. Not me. I, I watch documentaries. You know, like that's what I like. Really? Yeah. So I've seen, I mean, you name it, man. I've seen every documentary there is about food and food production. I've seen every documentary about the Nazis. Wow. I've seen documentaries about, I don't know, you name it, man. So, yeah, you know, um, I, I like thinking about things that are important, you know? Right. <laughs> All right, that's cool. That works. That works. You know, yeah, I mean, dude, there's crazy, there's crazy documentaries about the Christians and the Catholics. And, uh, I watched this thing about the, the Freemasons. And, oh, I mean, wow. There's, there's lots of good documentaries out there, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kind of like having the History Channel on all the time. Yeah, well, I don't have TV. I just have a DVD player. So oh, okay. Netflix, you know, there whatever you go. they got, that's what I got. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Cool, cool. Yeah. So uh, what are your thoughts on uh, adult entertainment? And if you want to bash it, that's totally cool. Um, <laughs> or if you have any kind of issues. Um, what can I say about it? Um, How did you get hooked up with Ian MacKay? Ian Mackay. How did I get hooked up with him? Um, I think it happened because... I think I met him because my brother was working at Hustler. Oh, okay. And this was, this was early... It, this was before Ian had his own like imprint with Vivid. Right. Like, he was still doing stuff with VCA, right. which is owned by Hustler. Right. And somehow I met him... And then he and a couple of the other people came over to my place one time. Was that it? I think, I don't know. Somehow, and then I, I, I did some posters in a scene for one of Ian's movies. Right. And I did some other stuff for another movie. And then, I don't know. I just somehow was involved in that. You right. Know? And, uh, do you look at, back at it fondly or do you go, oh, God, why did I do that? Uh, do you think you, did it, you think it compromised your art? At any no, point? I mean, I I had fun with it. I mean, you know, I'm inspired by L.A. And L.A. is movies. Right. And obviously, half of the movies here are porn. Like, this is where porn's made. Right. So, for me, it's like, okay, like, it's exploring this kind of thing about image, right? Right. And, 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 and surface and, you know, all this sort of stuff. And, and you know, I dated one of those girls. And, oh, you know, really? And so, I, you know, I, I got the, the full experience. I got, I got it all. <laughs> You know, and then of, of course, you know, like everything, it's like uh, you burn out on it. Well, no, not necessarily burn. It's not a matter of burning out. It's a matter of like, you know, um, the fantasy is so much better than the reality. I mean, the thing right. you see on on film is like that's cool. Right. But how it kind of all comes together, not necessarily so cool. Right. <laughs> There's a lot of warts and zits involved. Yeah, but not just that. There's attitudes and there's fucking bullshit and it's just right. like, I mean, you know, whatever. I, I that's the thing. It's like, I jumped in. I had fun. You know, I I was painting girls, taking photos of girls. Like, right. I was having fun with all that. And then at some point, it's just like, God, like, I don't know. It became a pain in the ass, and it just became like, all right, like maybe I should focus my time on something else. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so when are you gonna when are you gonna go back to, to doing more street art stuff? Is there is there ever gonna be a time that that's? Yeah, yeah, I have tons of ideas for new posters, and it's really you know for me just a matter of kind of figuring out how I kind of want to approach things. But I mean you know like especially this year I've been painting all year like crazy right. painting like I don't have time for anything. Right. You know I've pulled more all nighters this year than my whole life combined. Wow. It's like so busy so. I mean, I don't have time to sleep right, much less eat right, much less exercise, much less right. go fucking run around at 3 in the morning and put up posters. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I totally hear you. I'm, I'm right at that point, too, where I have a lot of ideas and I'd love to do it, but just who can find the time yeah. to actually yeah. go out and do it, you yeah. know? Crazy. So I'm working on that for the new year. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. Awesome. Yeah. So, any uh, parting thoughts? Anything you want to plug, you want to talk about? Well, uh, January 2010 is the 10th anniversary of me drawing the little buff monster character. Crazy. So, that is kind of crazy. Yeah. You know, 10 years drawing this little character, 
traveling around the world, drawing them for people, signing toys. I mean, all the things I've done in 10 years with this little guy is pretty amazing. So would you say that the mo that the buff monster character is a persona of you? Is it like an alter ego? Um, I mean, I guess it's kind of me, I guess, you know. I mean, for me, it, it's more just like a presence. It's like this little character, he's there, he's always smiling, he's always right. happy to be there. And, you know, yeah, you can paint over the poster or rip it down or whatever the hell is going to happen, but there's going to be another one there, you know, pretty soon. Right, so, right. you know, it's like, like, like you know, like, uh, like uh, the other thing about metal is that it's timeless. You know, so I like art that's timeless. And, of course, street art is anything but timeless. Right. But, you know. It's very fleeting, even. But, you know, when you live in the same city for a long time and you, you know, like putting up posters, uh, yeah, certainly it's not timeless, but certainly, right. uh, I mean, very often I go up to a box and it's like, oh, yeah, I can see my poster, yeah, right there. Or there's, like, <laughs> elements of it. There's pieces yeah, yeah. of it around. Yeah. Yeah. And so. people start to see that, and they've seen it before, so they make the connection yeah. already. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you're pigeonholed by by having the buff monster persona and character do is there any any times where you just want to like bust out and do some like crazy <laughs> other shit like not use pink at all you know like I go really technicolor like i really like pink um yes there are things that i'd like to explore that uh and you know i, I think i've had some freedom with that i mean i've definitely taken some chances where I'll, I'll do a series of paintings and people have no idea it's me. And <laughs> really? It's like, well, uh, what are you going to do? You know, like, sure. I don't know. I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I'm in a good place right now. I'm happy at how things are going. You know, I'm making some nice paintings. Right. And um, they're finding new homes, and I'm happy about it all. So, right. Yeah. What's the what's the weirdest experience of somebody that you had no idea even knew you existed and you finding out that they bought a piece or that they're a big fan? You know, I was doing a mural in Venice and uh, as, as a wall I had done and then I was there again either fixing it up or I think I was working with a couple other artists that I invited to come work with me on it. And uh, this woman came up and She's like, oh, are you the one that did this before? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and she's like, oh, you're Buff Monster. I was like, yeah, yeah. She's like, oh, hi, I'm, uh, I think her name is Victoria Hopper. She's Dennis Hopper's wife. She's like, wow. oh, yeah, we live right there. And all that. I was like, oh, that's cool. You know? I nice. Like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, you know, I, I think about that, like, obviously I don't know who all knows me and who all sure. collects my stuff or any right. of that stuff. Um, and I, and, and I, I think about it like it, when it relates to music, because so all this crazy metal that I listen to, you know, I think about like, well, I listen to it when I work, like I like it, it inspires me, blah, right. blah, blah. But I have to think like, okay, when these guys were recording these albums, they didn't have me in mind. Right. Right. <laughs> it's, and so I was like, well, what did they have in mind? Like, what is the optimal situation or circumstance to be listened to a given metal album? I, I don't know. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. I think you should totally do more metal posters. I think that's that's what your <laughs> yeah. future is. Yeah. I'd like to. Even man. if they don't want them, say yeah. fuck it, I'm doing it anyway. I'd like to. I, I'd like to. I, I think you know. I, I can I can be more metal in how I approach things. Sure. And I, but I think that the band is going to have to be a little more open minded. Right. About what kind of works for them. Sure, sure. You know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for uh, taking time out of your painting schedule sure. to talk to us. I really sure. appreciate it. Right on. <laughs>